Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will create beam layout plan of triplex house in AutoCAD. I have already created its front elevation, sectional elevation, column layout plan and all these links are given in the description box. So for more updates, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Also click the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss any update. So let's get started. So this is the first floor plan. Here I'll create the beam layout plan of this triplex house. So first go to layer. So layer dialog box is opened. Here I will create a new layer. Beam. I will change the color. Here I'll change the color. So I will uh, take blue. Click on OK. Now I'll change the line type. Click on continuous this line type. Then I, I need dashed line. Select dashed. Click on OK. And I'll change the line weight. Change the line weight. I will take 0 0.30 mm. Click on OK. Now another layer I will create. That is beam number. Click, click here. Now rename this beam number. Change the color. Color I will take uh, white. Click here in color and select this white only. Click on OK. Now change the line type to continuous. Select continuous. Click on OK. Now change the line weight default. Click on OK. So we have created two layers beam and beam number. Now we have to turn off all layers except wall and column we need wall and column and except wall and column we have to turn off all layers so go to layer select select all now turn off all layers now here turn on only wall layer and column layer column layer turn on and wall layer this is for so for this to create beam we need column and wall so this is column and wall so i need to copy this i don't want to change the main drawing so i will copy this and paste it here now turn on all layers select all Turn on. So this is a this is the here this is the column and wall. I need to create beam here. So first of all, what is beam? I will uh, discuss little bit. So first beam layer make beam layer as current layer. So beam is a horizontal structural element that carries loads from slabs and also direct loads such as masonry walls. And their self weights. Beam may be supported on the other beam or may be supported by column forming an integral part of the frame. So technically beam is a horizontal structure which is used to resist horizontal, vertical and seared load. That means beam is used to support the weight of floors, ceilings and roofs of a building and to transfer the load to a vertical load bearing element of the structure. The beam which is attached to roof slab is known as roof beam. Remember, roof beam means the beam which is attached to roof slab. The beams that are connecting columns for transferring loads of a structure directly to the columns are known as primary beams. And the beams that are connecting primary beams here this column to this column which beam we will create that is primary beam and the beams that are connecting primary beams for transferring loads of a structure to the primary beams are known as secondary beams secondary beams are not resting on columns okay so here this column to this column the beam which is created connecting two columns is known as primary beam so here i will Create the beam. 
so first uh, i will discuss depth and width of beam this is the section this is the section here so here see this is the wall the construction line vertical line click here and click here this is wall see this is the wall so delete this so this is here to here this is the width of the beam 9 inch and this is depth 1 feet or 12 inch including roof slab here 5 inch so roof slab 5 inch then rest is 7 inch so total 12 inch or 1 feet this is the depth of beam and this is width 9 inch usually width is same as uh, wall, uh, wall thickness and this is 1 feet depth and this is width 9 inch and the width or thickness 9 inch depth is 12 inch or 1 feet so let's go back to beam layout plan here i will use line command so column to column we will create beam so first take line command l enter specify first point here see here here to second point here this point to click here and click end point of this column this is the beam so i'll change the line type select right click and properties i'll line type 15 i will give so width is 9 inch i have shown in uh, section so offset of 9 inch here to here you can draw the line and you can use offset command again next beam this column to this column here first point and this is the second point same process give offset of i will do mass properties first now give offset offset distance 9 inch again here to here line command first point to this column to this column and and you can draw or you can give offset of 9 inch here to here now give mass properties again here this column to this column so draw line this end point of this column to end point of this column and do mass properties First, I'll offset, offset of 9 inch. Select, click to this side. And column to column, you have to create. See, same column. So, I'll copy this. Copy from here and paste it here. Because this both are same beam. See, so paste it here. Column to column distance is same, so beam will be same. I'll do mass property, so so I copy it and do mass properties. So these two column to column distance is same, so beam will be same beam. Next, line command, click line here to here. And again, I will create first and then I will offset here this column to this column. And again, line command, this column to this column. Now, I will offset, give offset command 9 inch. Select this line, click on this side. Select this line, click on this side and select this line and click on this side. Now, I will do math properties, select M A enter, subtract key M A. Now select all to change the line type. Now I will create this beam, this column to this column, and this column. To, you can draw like this. In, if you don't want to offset, you can draw like this. Now this column to this column. 
and this column to this column this side now here to here this column to this column sorry i will start from another side and i'll enter this column to this column now i'll offset of 9 inch give offset this column to this column now give offset offset distance 9 inch select this click to this side select this click to this side these two beams are created now take line command again column to column we have to give beam this is primary beam this column to this column now offset offset distance 9 inch select click to this side again give line command this column to this column and this column to this column give offset select click to this side 9 inch select click to this side now again line command here column end point of this column to end point of this column and offset of 9 inch sorry give offset offset distance 9 inch select this line click on this side now i'll do mass properties select mass properties select all lines Again, mass, mass properties. Select all lines I have created. These are the beams. All beams. So, again, this column to this column. Take line command. This point to this point. And give offset. Offset distance 9 inch. Select this line. Click on this side. Select, do mass properties, select this line and select this line. Now we have created these beams. Now, here, take line command, select end point of this column and end point of this column. Again, take line command or give offset first, 9 inch offset. Select, give offset of 9 inch. Now again line command, select end point of this column and end point of this column, end point of this column to this column and give offset of 9 in, select, click to this side, select, click to this side. And do mass properties. We have done. Now. We have to provide beam here, this column to this column. So, give line command here, this point to end point of this column to end point of this column. Now, give offset, offset distance 9 inch. Select, click to this side. Here to here, this is. See, this is 5 inch. So, 5 inch hanging depth of uh, uh, depth of this beam. 5 inch hanging portion you can see. Because the wall thickness is 5 inch wall. So, 5 inch hanging portion you can see from inside. So, line, draw line. This column to this side, end point of this column and offset of 9 inch. Select, click to this side. And here to here also, you can see hanging portion of 5 inch. Now, here we have to provide beam here. End point of this column to end point of this column. And give offset of 9 inch. Select, click to this side. And this side. Do mass properties first. Click here and click here. 
now again here we have to provide one more column so take line command we have to provide a cross beam here here you can see this is the roof slab 5 inch so column depth is 12 inch so 7 inch hanging portion we can see here here as there is no wall we can see the hanging portion of 7 inch hanging portion we can see if you do false ceiling then you cannot see the depth so now this column to this beam we have given one beam so trim this extra line now give offset of 9 inch 9 inch select click to this side so this column to this beam so do do match properties and this column to this beam we have given and here this column to this beam this is the cross beam we are, we are providing this column to this beam and trim this and give offset of 9 inch offset 9 inch select click to this side now do mass properties select mass properties and select so this is a cross beam or T beam also you can call them now we have created all beams now we have to now i will rename the beams so we need to provide one more beam here this column to this column and your offset of nine inch select click to this side sorry now do match properties select and select now we have created all beams we need to specify names of the beams so we have to rename the we have to specify the names of beams here to column to column beam here this column to this column here to here another beam here to here another beam here to here here to here column to column end point of one column to end point of another column you have to create the beam and this is the cross beam or t beam column to beam so we have created the created all the beams now i will specify names of the beams so make a, uh, now i will turn off the wall layer turn off the beam layer and turn off the column layer now this is the wall so wall we don't need so i need to delete the wall because walls are not required now now i will turn on the beam layer and column layer column layer now this is the this is all the these are the beams do mass properties here this line and this line so this is the beam these are the beam i have created column to column beams now i need to specify names now make beam number layer as current layer and copy the text and paste it go to properties change the height uh, to 9 inch 9 inch now this beam this is the beam one i will give b1 size is width is 9 inch and depth is 12 inch or 1 feet 9 inch into 12 inch this is beam one here to here this is 9 inch width and depth i have shown in section here in section this is the depth including group slab to here this is 1 feet or 12 inch 
this is the 9 inch into 12 inch beam. So this beam, beam 1 Now this is beam 2. Nine inch into twelve dimension is same. Now this is beam three. There is utility area, so it will be balcony in first floor, ground floor. It is utility area. So utility of kitchen, utility this is. So we have to provide a cantilever beam here. So this is the utility area. See, 3 feet of utility area. So, we have to provide cantilever beam. So, draw a line. Simply, you can do mass properties, but I will draw and show you. In same process, now give offset of 9 inch. Select this line, click to this side, select this line, click to this side. Now, delete these two lines. Again, offset of 9 inch. And now I will do mass properties. This is the cantilever beam. One end is fixed and another end is free. So, cantilever beam I will uh, rename cantilever beam 3. Insert cut. Um, insert I will write that CB3. Cantilever beam, this is beam 3. So, insert I will write that uh, CB3, cantilever beam 3. Copy this, paste and uh, rotate this. Rotate the text to make ortho on. Select, move, redu reduce the text height. Select, go to text, right click properties, go to text, height uh, 8 inch. This is CB3 cantilever beam 3 and I will copy to another side because both the beams are same size. Beam which is which are same size will be named as same. So both are same size beam. So both are same CB3. This will be beam 4. So B4 9 inch into 12 inch. Now, this is here to here. This is 10 feet. And this side also 10 feet. So, both the beams are same. So, I will specify the both the beams are same size. So, both will be beam 4. So, this is also beam 4. So, B4 9 inch into 12 inch. Both the column to column distance is same. Both are same size beam. Now, this is beam 1 and rotate this, move the text to this side and this I will uh, specify beam 5, so B5, distance here to here 9 inch. This is seven seven feet and this is also seven feet. So this beam also B five. This is also B five because same size beam size is same. So this is B five beam five. This is also beam five. This is also same. Now this is beam one nine feet seven inch, but this is ten feet one inch. So both are different size of beam column to column distance little bit different so this, this will be beam 6 this is 9 foot 7 inch and this is 10 foot 1 inch so this different this b6 and uh, this is b5 Both are same, so I have specified same name. 
Now this is copy the text. and make ortho off and paste it here this is b7 both are same size this is 13 feet 10 inch and this is also 13 feet 10 in. so this is both are this is b7 so this is also b7 because both the column to column distance same so both are both are same size beam so both are b7 this is b4 this is b4 this is b7 this b7 now here here too here this is 18 feet 11 inch. This I will specify copy this. B8. B8. I will move this text to this side. This is one beam. Now. Copy this text, paste it here. Now this is beam 8. This is beam 8 and this I will give beam 9. This is 6 feet 1 inch. This is also 6 feet 1 inch. So this beam size is also same. So this is also beam 8. So I will copy this and paste it here. This is also beam 8. Both are same size beam. Now this is beam 9. Again I will copy this text to this beam. This is beam 10. Here, this is 10 feet 6 inch and this is 10 feet 9 inch. So, this is beam 10 and copy and paste it here. Beam 11. Here, this is 10 feet 6 inch. And this is also 10 feet 6 inch means this beam is same. And uh, let me check this is also 10 feet 6 inch. So these three beams are same size that means B10 copy. This is B10. This is also B10. And this is also B10. These three beams are of same size. Move little bit towards this side. Now, this is B11. Next, next to this beam, so copy the text here, copy this and paste it here. This is B12. This is also same size. I will let me check. This is 6 foot 6 inch and this is also 6 foot 6 inch. So both are same size beam. This is B12. Copy and this is also B12. Now copy the text, paste it here. Mention this. This is B13. And check the size of the beam. This is 
13 feet 9 inch and this side this is 13 feet 9 inch this is also 13 feet 9 inch and this is also 13 feet 9 inch so these four beams are of same size so all these four beams are b13 b13 and b13 now this beam i'll copy this paste it here now check the distance this is b14 rename as b14 and then check the distance 11 feet 8 inch and this is also 11 feet 8 inch so both the beams are same size so this is also b14 and this is b14 both the beams are same size so same size beams specify the same name this is b15 check the dimension this is 10 feet this is also 10 feet sorry this is not beam uh, 14 this is beam 4 all this beams are of same size this is beam 4 beam 4 this is also beam 4 so we have specified all the names see all the names we have specified these two cantilever beams this column to this one end is fixed one end is free here this is a utility area so one end is fixed and one end is free and these are the beams column to column primary beams and uh, here beam this column to all the column to column primary beams we have created you can see this is the beam layout plan so first you have to create a layer of beam then you have to create another layer uh, uh, beam number then you have to create beams connecting column to column or column to beam and uh, cantilever beam will be there if there will be cantilever beam you can create what is hidden beam or concealed beam i will uh, discuss it later then you have to specify the names of the beams so this is the beam layout plan of triplex house so I have already created this house column layout plan, uh, front elevation, sectional elevation and these links are given in the description box. Please go through those videos. Now turn off the text. Now if I will copy this, if you want to put this on your plan, you can see it like this. Paste it. Then you can see this beams like this on the plan. I will undo this. So this is your beam layout plan. So I hope you like this video. And if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you for watching.